We still have problems, as I told you earlier. Uh, we are now working on increase of productivity in the coffee areas. And also, we are working on uh, space or, uh, to have appropriate number of trees per hectare. As we made the survey now, uh, you know, on our members farm, we have only about 1,500 trees in a hectare of land. So we are, we are planning to double this. And we have 4,000 4, coffee nurseries where we raise seedling and we distribute to members. They plant, they make spot planting and to increase their production. And also we train farmers on pruning, stamping and uh, coffee management so that they can increase productivity. The other thing is what we are working on a credit facility. We don't get even sufficient amount of credit till now because the demand of member cooperatives is increasing from time to time. We have to also train our farmers from year to year because there are many youngs joining to be a farmer and we, are, we want them to be modernized farmers, not uh, traditional. So we have to train them and we, we want also cooperatives to be run by professional managers so that they can be very efficient. And uh, we want the price of coffee to stay higher. Now it is about 2.7 to today. We want the price to be above three dollar because food and the other commodity prices has gone up. So in relation to that, the price of coffee also have to stay higher. And uh, I'm here just talking to roasters in New Zealand. Uh, yesterday and uh, since I arrived last week, the biggest issue had been the increase of the coffee uh, price. <coughs> and uh, the reason is because all commodity prices has gone up. Uh, wheat price, oil price, fuel price has gone up. All things are related with um, the price of the oil, so we want the price of coffee to stay above $3 a pound. And um, there was a problem of uh, before the formation of the union, because of the drop of coffee prices, there is a lot of money which was not paid by coffee exporters to farmers. Still, uh, for the last 10 years, about 60 million to members not paid to farmers in Oromia and other regions, which is sold for post checks. These are the problems we do have, and we are trying to solve at this time. And um, we focus on education because the population is growing in the coffee areas. We want to take out people from the coffee area through education to get engaged in other jobs. Otherwise, land is becoming smaller and smaller among uh, families. So to avoid that, the only way is to educate people to have appropriate family size and also to go out for other jobs after studying. This is all, and uh, if you have any question, I'm happy to answer, and uh, thank you for listening.